cheese. It's time for a trip down the mountain. Hey there, I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. And then make a nice sound stove. Just a moment. Hi there, I'm Cast Iron Katie. In this video, I'm making Cast Iron Katie's Gone Bananas Cake. This is a brainstorm inspired by four previous recipes that I've demonstrated. The banana bread, the rum cake, the carrot cake, and the cannoli cake. So I took an idea or two from each recipe and put into this one recipe and I think it's gonna be a killer cake. So let's dive right in. I'll begin by toasting two cups of raw pecans. They have a raw texture to them, a little mushy, and we are going to toast them and give them a rich, deep flavor and a crunchy outside. So if you remember from the carrot cake video, I toasted pecans then also. What I've done this time is preheated the Dutch oven to 300 degrees. I've done that by placing six briquettes on bottom and 12 briquettes on top. You can click the video description to see how I came to that figure for the briquettes. I preheated the Dutch oven for 10 minutes and now we're going to toast the pecans for 10 minutes and then we'll check on them. At this time, I'm going to start 44 briquettes for the cake bake. While the pecans are toasting, we're going to get the cake started. We're gonna start by smashing some bananas. Next, I am going to whisk together three cups flour, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon cinnamon, and a half teaspoon salt. We'll whisk it together. It's instead, whisking it together is instead of sifting. Next, I am going to whisk the egg whites as you if you've seen my whisking egg white video you know I like to do this whenever I add eggs to a batter because whisked egg whites make a batter super fluffy Now we're going to start with the wet ingredients. I have three quarter cup of butter. All right, that's nice and creamy. I will now add a half cup of white sugar. And if maybe you can see it in there, there's also a half a cup of brown sugar in there. Now we'll add three egg yolks, two teaspoon of vanilla extract. In go the mashed bananas. going to alternate adding a little buttermilk with the dry ingredients. Just kind of div we'll divide it up about in we'll divide it in thirds.
Hmm. Yellow jacket approved. The cons are done. You see them on my spoon here. We're going to fold in the egg whites first, though. Go ahead and dump those in. Fold that. Fold in our toasted pecans. This is one cup of toasted pecans. We will use the second coat for garnish on top of the cake, much like we did on the carrot cake. There's our batter. Looks super fluffy. I prepared three Dutch oven liners with cooking spray and parchment paper. We'll divide this recipe as evenly as possible amongst the three. We're ready to go to the hot coals. We will come back in 10 minutes to rotate the oven, the lid, the oven, the lid. At that time, we will also start the next round of coals. We will rotate the Dutch oven every 10 minutes. Rotating the Dutch ovens prevents scorching and hot spots created by too much heat focused by a briquette. All right, 20 minutes has passed. We're gonna give the cake a quick check. I don't imagine that it's anywhere near done, but I like to check it every 20 minutes. Ah, uh, it's still real gooey. Okay, I'm gonna rotate these and change out the coals. While I have some really hot coals, I'm gonna get the rum glaze going. My hands, my lid's probably a little hot. So if you remember from the rum cake, I'm gonna do it similar but not exact. I've got a quarter cup of water and a half cup of butter. I'm gonna melt those together. We're adding a quarter cup of maple syrup and a half cup of brown sugar. Thank you. 
looks good. Super light and fluffy. All right, let's swap that cake out somehow. Okay, swap those cakes out. It was pretty easy. I just picked it up with an oven mitt and set the other one in. But this will be brand new there, but 30 minutes on that one. So we'll see what it looks like in 40 minutes. Our glaze is cooled down pretty pretty good. It's not hot. So if you remember from the rum cake, I used Cruzan's vanilla, but I found Cruzan's banana. So we're going to use the same technique as the rum video and add a half cup of the Cruzan's banana rum. While this cake is still warm, I'm going to put a half cup of the glaze poured over it nice and slow. These two cakes were baked in the five quart Dutch oven and they baked in 30 minutes. This one was baked in the eight quart Dutch oven. It took 40 minutes, probably could have been 35, a little burnt on the top. These I think cooked too quickly and that's why they rose quick and cracked the top. But I put my cakes in the freezer overnight. We're gonna take them out and cut the tops off. Cutting the top off of the cake, trying to make it nice and even. We're going to now candy some pecans. I have one egg white and a tablespoon of water in this bowl. I'm going to whisk it until it's frothy. We'll add our pecans. Add a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of spice, more than half of the ground cinnamon, a little bit of coriander, and a little bit of ginger and then a teaspoon of salt. It's gonna have a sweet saltiness to it. I have a Dutch oven liner that is lined with parchment paper. Put a spacer down, liner down, put the pecans in. Let's go over to the hot coals. We're gonna candy these at 300, putting six on the bottom for my five quart and 12 on top. If you want to know the math on how I get to that to make a 300 degree oven, click on the video description. Stir these every 15 minutes for an hour and restart some coals probably at the 15 minute mark to put them on for the 30 minute mark. The pecans have been in here for an hour. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna have to work pretty quick with it. So we'll take it back to the table. I'm going to spoon these into little clusters. Ow, it's hot. I'm going to make up the frosting now. I've got a block of cream cheese. We will add, I think I've got about 20 ounces of ricotta here, but I let it drain overnight. It took out some of the liquid from the ricotta. took adding the ricotta to the frosting from my cannoli recipe. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And I will start mixing in three cups of powdered sugar. The icing is not, it's not thick enough with the three cups. I'm gonna go ahead and go with four cups. We'll see what four cups does. Mm -hmm. 
The icing turned out much thinner than I wanted it to, so I'm just gonna let it slide on down instead of me trying to frost the edges. I've garnished with the toasted pecan. Now I'm gonna put the candy pecans on. There is Cast Iron Katie's Gone Bananas Cake. The icing is thinner than I wanted it to be, but I think by letting it drip down the cake kind of made up for that, so that's kind of cool. The candy pecans really are delicious. They are sweet and salty. So good. Hmm. That looks pretty good. That looks really good. Is glazed and frosted. It has candy pecans. The best bite of this is whenever you get a good chunk of the candy pecan on there. The candy pecan is the sweet and salty and spicy. That's so good. I would add a half cup of rum to the cake batter and I would reduce the ricotta to make the icing more firm. Otherwise, it, this cake is bananas. It is so good. Wow. Well, so, give it a try. Let me know what you think. This is Cast Iron Katie. Thanks so much for watching. I put the glazed cakes in a freezer overnight. Obviously, I'm in the shop. Uh, come on, air compressor. What do I got in here anyway?